rolling. This is Gary Hine, entomologist at the Panhandle Research and Extension Center. Rangeland grasshopper management is always a challenge in rangeland in Nebraska during outbreak years. I'll be talking here about grasshopper integrated pest management and its importance to try to improve the management process for grasshoppers in Nebraska. We've recorded uh, five different PowerPoints that will deal with grasshopper management. The first will deal with grasshopper integrated pest management. The second PowerPoint will deal with grasshopper biology and the life cycle associated with important aspects uh, that are relevant to the uh, management of, of these insects. The third one will be on grasshopper scouting and thresholds. Uh, the next one will will cover the rats reduced agent and area treatment program and the control strategy associated with that program. And the final one will deal with the ATV rats program, uh, which is a, a program to control uh, grasshoppers on a more local, uh, more local aspects. If we look at the grasshopper uh, survey map or hazard map from two th for 2008 for Nebraska, we can see that uh, throughout the central sand hills and the southern sand hills and down into southwest Nebraska, there are significant areas that are at uh, severe risk for potential grasshopper problems in 2008. Uh, these are very similar to the areas that were that caused us or had potential problems for us in 2007. Uh, but it is does is a reminder that uh, there is potential for some very serious problems that can develop uh, under the right circumstances. If you look at grasshopper IPM or grasshopper integrated pest management, uh, there is a management philosophy that underscores this, and that the purpose of grasshopper management really is to keep the people, uh, keep the ranchers on the land. Uh, that's the primary factor. We want to make this a, a, an issue that uh, will provide the rancher with uh, economic incentives uh, to, uh, to, pr to economically uh, maintain management of grasshoppers at a level that, uh, that will be sustainable. Grasshopper integrated pest management is really an approach that substitutes knowledge and information for materials and external inputs uh, with respect to management. Uh, much of this knowledge that, that really is required for proper application and proper timing of, of treatments uh, will be presented in these, uh, in these uh, presentations that I'll be giving. Behind Grasshopper IPM, we want to think about it as a three-phase approach, uh, the first phase being prevention. There are a number of things that ranchers can do to try to prevent the buildup of grasshopper populations. Rangelands should be optimally managed really for plant vigor and also for plant condition. We want to maximize the forage and grass yield. Uh, this is an obvious uh, uh, objective for ranchers, but we also want to try to reduce grasshopper pressure. And as we talk about these things, we'll see we'll, we'll be able to discuss the compatibility of these two as these two issues. As we think about yield, uh, yield of grass, we want to think, think about increasing the herbage and the ground cover that will shade the soil. Uh, this also has a, a, or additional impact in that it will slow grasshopper growth. Uh, the cooler the soil is, the slower grasshoppers will develop. Uh, re we will see reduced survival, uh, reduced egg production because of grasshoppers really developing slower through the season, and the impact of the grasshoppers will also be reduced. Another important uh, rangeland management issue is rotational grazing. If rotational grazing can be used, basically what happens relative to grasshoppers is that you shift the grazing season uh, from, say, summer, midsummer to early summer or, or early summer to late summer. And what you also do is you shift the uh, presence of grasshoppers during different times of the season. And this does seem to have an impact on grasshopper populations. The second phase of the three-phase approach is intervention. Uh, if prevention uh, fails, then basically we get ho uh, grasshopper hotspots and grasshopper outbreaks, and these may need to be controlled. If we do have these hotspots present, rangeland surveys can identify these areas, and treatments can be used on a more limited basis and much more economic basis to try to limit the grasshopper population from spreading into outlying areas. The third phase of this approach is suppression, and if this, this occurs if intervention fails. Basically, if suppression is necessary, can be, the suppression can be utilized on a fairly widespread or wide scale. Uh, the use of the RATS program, the Reduced Agent and Area Treatment Program, uh, is probably the most eco economical method for trying to control grasshopper outbreaks under these situations. 
For more information on grasshopper management and grasshopper biology and ecology, a couple publications are listed here, a field guide to common western grasshoppers from the University of, Nebraska, or University of Wyoming is an extremely good uh, book that does have a number of good photos of grasshoppers and describes the life cycle of a number of different grasshopper species. Uh, Grasshoppers of Colorado is another is also another good uh, bulletin that can be uh, that will provide a lot of good information on grasshopper biology, ecology, and some some aspects of management. There are also a number of websites that can be referenced for information on grasshopper management. The first shown here is from the University of Wyoming. The University of Wyoming has done extensive research on the RATS program, and uh, will provide this website will provide a lot of information rela relative to the most recent uh, developments in the RATS program. The second one is a USDA ARS uh, website out of uh, uh, Montana, and they have uh, they have done a, an extensive amount of research on grasshoppers, and, and particularly with respect to the relationship of grasshoppers and rainstorm management. The third uh, website there, the highplainsipm.org website, uh, will provide a number of uh, uh, information on a number of crops and other uh, aspects of grasshopper management. Uh, the, the next website, the Karma uh, website, can be utilized to try to establish grasshopper thresholds and has been updated for, uh, for uh, Nebraska conditions. The final one, uh, the final website, the entomology website at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, uh, provides a lot of information, the most up-to-date information on grasshopper infestations, uh, grasshopper literature uh, f available through the University of Nebraska, and uh, does give some information on updates of uh, press releases and the most recent information related to the, grass the current grasshopper situation.